Hi everyone, today in this tutorial I'll show you how you create this responsive footer navigation in Figma step by step. First, let's duplicate this existing um, footer and we're gonna ungroup every single element, okay? Because we wanna all show you how to do it step by step. Okay, so now we have all these elements which are ungrouped here. First, let's group the section on the left. I'm gonna have frame selection, I'm gonna call it left. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna call it left. Now, let's group these two elements right here on after layer on a, on a frame. Okay, and we're gonna call it middle. And this one on the right would be right. So let's add frame, call it right. Amazing, great. Now let's select all three elements and let's add color to it. What we want to do is add first an auto layout because we want to apply the color to the entire background. Let's add, so we have our auto layout. Let's add the paddings on the left and let's add the paddings on the right. Amazing. Let's make sure that our minimum height our height our width is sorry for uh, 1440 okay and let's position it right here amazing now this is very important part let's click right here or it says wrap and let's enable it and then let's pos align it to the top center okay great what we want to do next, let's make sure that the frame is selected. We're going to go right here. And we're going to add max width and minimum width values. Okay. So our max value would be 1440. And our minimum value would be 1375. Great. So now if we're going to resize the elements, we're going to see that they go straight to 400 of the 375 okay great so we've done this for the external now let's do the internal internal parts so let's select these two containers right here and let's add the minimum value of 335 okay and let's add the the maximum the maximum value for this one is gonna be 335 as well amazing let's make sure that we have an auto layout for this element okay and let's have it all in fill container okay and let's hover over right here and let's add the maximum value of 400 okay amazing now Let's see, let's resize it, see how it works. It works as not really as expected. Okay, let's have this hug content and let's add the maximum value of 400. Let's keep it like that. This element, the minimum value is going to be 335 and then let's see how it works it works as expected the only thing is we have our wrap option right here which doesn't hug the content when we resize it and this is now what we want here we go okay so now we see these blocks i perform as i want them to do okay all these elements right here let's click fill container and now you see then when we resize these elements the copy right here it adjusted themselves within the values that we set up okay because we've added the value of 400 right here which is more than these two then it has an extra an extra space to perform okay because we don't really want it this 
this uh, block on the top to go too much beyond this option ideally it should be it should be the same but just for this tutorial it will be a little bit bigger but ideally for the for the when you send it to dev ideally it should perform exactly as the other blocks which we're probably gonna set it up because we want to make sure it's done correctly okay great so now all these three blocks they're gonna have the same container and the same width as the responsive behavior occurs okay amazing this is exactly what i wanted to do let's let's summarize everything one more time make sure we've done everything right so we have our blocks which is left or middle and the right we've set for all three blocks we've set two values we've set the the maximum width or the minimum width which is going to be 335 and the container size which is going to be 1440 will define the actual padding between the elements okay because we set maximum padding to 1440 it won't go beyond that that's why we can leave it like so and then when we go to mobile we set it up to the minimum width for the container to 3 300 35 okay by why well, we've done so because what we want to do is to have 20 pixel padding on uh, the margins on the on the mobile okay so ideally what we're gonna do is on the mobile we want the padding between the elements to be a little bit smaller we can actually do that is by selecting this this frame we can reduce the top and bottom which is let's put it to 24 and then let's click these elements right here let's click it to mm, let's say 40 but i think 48 is fine so let's add 48 which i think it's cool so now when we're gonna do the responsive behavior yeah, this is how it will look okay let's make sure we add the padding top back again this is how you create responsive footer navigation in figma if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll create a video and i'll answer all of them thank you so much have